I want to show you a trick that can improve your event match qualities for EMQ score for meta conversion API events, but not only. This trick applies to uh, Google enhanced conversions, to Pinterest API events, and to Stock API events if you send them with Pixel Your Site. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. I will show you a feature um, from Pixel Your Site Professional that it's quite useful. Uh, and, well, uh, the MQ score is here on our uh, events manager page. It shows you how well Meta is able to match events with a user. So uh, this way they can measure conversion, they can improve ads. And I have various videos about EMQ. I explain how it works. I explain why some events will have a lower EMQ score and is normal because we don't have enough data. Uh, but there are things that we can do and you can do to improve. Um, first of all, we need to send um, some parameters called FBP and FBC. On this channel, I have another video explaining how they work. I encourage you to watch that video. Um, it, it, it's really helpful to understand. Uh, we can also send something called external ID and we do it. We do it with all our events. Uh, again, on, on our YouTube channel, there is a video explaining how external ID works. But it's really helpful if we can send user personal data. Things like first name, last name, email and uh, phone number. And there are some settings you can um, play with in order to help Pixel Your Site to understand where to look for this kind of data. By default, we will take it from the user account. So if the visitor of your website is logged in, we will be able to find such data from their account. Uh, if the visitor is a WordPress, uh, sorry, it's a WooCommerce client, again, uh, we are able to take the data from WooCommerce and send it with our uh, conversion API events or with Google um, Hands conversion data. However, if the visitor simply lands on your website, is not logged in, didn't buy anything, it's hard for us to understand where to look from this data, from where to take this data. Uh, we don't have a way to do it unless they complete a form. And uh, for this, we have in our global settings, uh, this option right here, advanced user data detection and here forms. And there is a video explaining how it works. Basically, you need to define uh, the fields from where we will take the data using the field name. And in this, in the video link here, I show you exactly how to do it. Or we can also take it from URL parameters. What it means, sometimes there are plugins passing data using URL parameters. So your website will uh, look something like this. My website come. Then there is a question mark. And then you have parameters. Name of the parameter equal, and here we have value, Mike. So if you have such a setup and there is a plugin passing names, first name, last name, phone numbers using URLs like this, we can detect them if you tell us where to look and how you can do it is very simple. Right here, your parameters, look for the uh, first name, last name, telephone number field, and define the value. The logic is like this, URL, so this is always present, underscore, and now the name of the parameter. Let's say uh, first name. Okay. Add it and say, well, I already have another one for my previous testing. Okay. So now I have two values here. Uh, we will ignore the first one. We will use just this one, the second one that I just configured. So the plugin will look for a parameter with this value, as with this name, and will um, try to take the value from this parameter. So, uh, how can you test if it works? Let me show you. Go to Events Manager, Test Events. Go here, copy the test code. Go back inside the plugin. 
dashboard. What I'm doing now, I'm testing my conversion API events, and I want to see if the first name data is passed correctly. I already have the test, test code here. Again, I, I did a previous testing. Uh, so if you don't have it passed it, make sure it's the most recent one because Meta changes this code. Save. And now, uh, open your website in an incognito mode. It's important because otherwise we might take the data from your um, account, the account that they are, you are logged in with, uh, inside your website. So open an incognito window. And now, instead of opening the web page, the normal web page, add the parameter that we just defined. So name, what, 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 what was the parameter? Let me check memory first name okay and the value will be i don't know mike we will open the page on send plugin i have to agree to tracking now we have events fired including conversion api events and we can go back to our main page and uh, wait a little bit until events are reported here. It takes some time for Meta to show conversion API events. They will not show uh, browser events because uh, this tool only reports events, browser events fire in the same session. So because I was uh, using an incognito window, you will not see my uh, browser events here. And now, let's see. Do I have a first name parameter? Yes, I do. So the value was detected by the plugin and passed with conversion API events um, to Meta. So now Meta has some extra information about me. They have external ID. I told you we generate an external ID for all our events. I have uh, the browser ID. This is um, a cookie value that tries to identify the browser. We have the IP address, user agent, and the first name. So there is some more data that Meta now has. It's something that you can use. Uh, as I told you, we also send this data as enhanced conversion data to Google. So again, if we detect it, we will send it. Uh, it won't make a huge difference. Probably this feature doesn't um, apply to many websites because not many websites have uh, this kind of values passed in the URLs. But if this is your case, you want to take some values from URLs, Use this feature, it will help. If you use forms, use the other feature, the one here, uh, and watch the dedicated video for how um, uh, for forms, how to uh, define um, fields that we can use to get data for our conversion API events and Google enhanced conversion. That's it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Like this video, share this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.